Hello, people of God. It's Pastor Stephen at St. Paul's United Church of Christ in Amityville with a vlog for Thursday, March 14. We're coming up close to uh, St. Patrick's Day, and this is vlog 322. And, oh, it's a beautiful day here. It's been a beautiful day. And I can hear people coming for scouts on our Cub Scouts on a Wednesday night. And also we have people, they're already uh, gathering in the fellowship hall for our Lenten meal. Lots of good things going on. Let me tell you about some stuff coming up. Of course, um, Palm Sunday, we will have palms. In fact, next Wednesday night, we'll be preparing those. They come in, in uh, all connected. We have to cut them apart so that we can hand them out. And we're going to work out something for the children to bring them forward at the end of the service on Palm Sunday. And you want to be here and want to see that. And then on Monday, Thursday, we're going to have the, the Monday, Thursday service that we, we've had several different ones. One included stripping the altar. This one will be the one in the social hall and we'll be uh, sharing communion downstairs the way that has been done for years and was done before I came and has been some of the years that I've been here. On Good Friday, we start the prayer vigil and I just checked the, the sign-up sheet. Out of 24 hours from Friday morning to Saturday morning, we have all but three hours accounted for that people have signed up for. So thanks for doing that. Maybe the rest of them will be signed up for tonight um, at the Lenten program. And also on Good Friday, there is a crosswalk. It is an ecumenical crosswalk in Birdsboro. I'll be participating and leading part of the prayers in that, where we just carry the cross around Birdsboro to some key places. If you've never done that and you're free, I think it's going to be three o'clock in the afternoon, I'd invite you to come to that. And that night, we've been invited to join St. Gabe's Episcopal Church for their, their um, service, and I'll, I'll be participating in that service on Good Friday. Saturday, we have, or this is still uh, in a week and a half, but on the Saturday the 30th, we have our egg hunt at 11 o'clock, four different age groups. And if you know of people that have some, some friends or family uh, or children that are, I think it's under grade six, that would be a wonderful thing to invite them to. This year, there will be one less egg hunt. The Optimist Club is not doing one, but we do have help and support from Amity Fire Company, <laughs> the ones that were right where I'm standing now. They had the fire truck here this past Saturday when we had a little, little issue, uh, but we got that all straightened out. But this is a great opportunity to invite people. People don't always come to church when you ask them, although I'm gonna invite you to ask people to come for Palm Sunday and Easter Sunday, or even this coming Sunday, the 17th, St. Patrick's Day Sunday. I'll be singing a benediction in an Irish style. Uh, but there are reasons to invite your friends and family to come and worship the Lord here, especially around Easter when people are curious and interested in what, what we believe and how we practice it. So invite your friends. And if you're on social media, um, use the Facebook pages that we've put out, share them. Uh, just put them on your page or like them or invite people. There's so many ways to get the word out to invite people to share in our faith. And of course, Easter Sunday, then we have the, the, the Easter service. And it will be the same time as usual. Man, the doors are really opening and closing tonight. And I see, I see Mark Sittler heading on his way in. He has his Bible, very good for him. Uh, what else we have? Preaching classes. I've reached out to people that have shown interest or who have been pointed out to me as good potential people. And some have said, yes, sign me up. Some have said, no, that's not my calling. And I've, I've gotten different responses and some I'm still waiting to hear from. But if you didn't hear from me and you're interested, well, I'll reach out and let's talk about um, how you might be a part of the, the preaching team for this summer when I'm on sabbatical. But I'm very pleased with how that's coming together. Classes are going to be for about an hour and a half on Tuesday nights beginning at 7 o'clock during the month of April. And uh, we might have to make a couple adjustments on that or make have a makeup class or something, but we invite you to come to that. And let's see, what else do I need to, to uh, point out? Um, the capital campaign was passed and people are starting to bring in their pledges, especially our consistory has been asked that they would prayerfully think about that and bring in their pledge for the capital campaign. We are underway with the HVAC work and they have been here 
for two weeks uh, every day from seven to three working in the offices. And there been a couple times when I've kind of found a way to work other places because it's kind of busy right here. And uh, let's see, and our prayers, uh, let's pray for Wayne Elser's mother. His, her name is Ann Blyer, and she just took a turn for the worse and uh, was in the hospital and now is with hospice. And we, um, we pray for her family for comfort. Lord God, we lift up Ann Blyer and Wayne and Wendy and Jordan and Mariah and their family. We pray for your peace that passes all understanding. And we pray when her time comes that it will be um, gentle and that she will just pass into your loving arms. And we, we lift up that family in Jesus' name, amen. Our scripture today, is one that I'll be preaching from. Jesus said, this is from John 12, 32. Jesus said, and I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw people to myself. So Jesus is drawing people and you have a role to do in lifting Jesus up, sharing Jesus. We talked about it a little bit last Sunday. We'll talk a little bit more and we'll have a scripture from Isaiah 6 where Isaiah met the Lord in this vision and um, We'll read that. Oh boy, motorcycles are going by. And there's a song that I don't know where I learned it, but it goes like this. I saw the Lord. I saw the Lord. And he is high and lifted up. And his train filled the temple. He is high and lifted up. And his train filled the temple. The angels cry glory. The angels cry glory. The angels cry, cry holy to the Lord. And you can hear the bells are starting to ring and more Cub Scouts are coming in. I see Carol coming in there and I see Kay just getting here after she was here for four hours today overseeing some of the stuff with the HVAC. Um, so I'm gonna go in because it's time to eat on Wednesday night and I'll see you Sunday if I'm not already seeing you now.